welcome get guys to part two so I just want to show you a few things so I did remove the fan cover and I had to go ahead and remove the pot end so this over here and I did remove some of the fan bolts I got everything saved inside the package that came the box with the package for the pot end that came that I got today so I, I won't lose anything but um I did want to show you I'm using three different allen keys so this is number I'm using number two number 1.5 and um, there's three of them so like it's basically thick thinner and thinnest that I'm using the thinnest one was for the bolts to for the fan cooler the cooling fan to remove that off of the um, bracket for the the x-axis carriage so I'm using number two to remove the. This is flipped upside down, basically. This is where the motherboard is and the wiring is coming out of. So I'm using these, this number two, to take out the bottom cover of the motherboard. So I'm place that inside the case too, so I don't lose nothing. I just want to make sure that I don't miss these bolts when I need to put them back. So there is four bolts on the bottom. So there's two up here, and then there's one here, and one down here. So I'm just removing all these bolts so I can get the cover off so I can get to the wiring. So I can wire everything back up. And plus I have to remove some of this um, silk, this um, wiring cover so I can get to removing the hot end um, wiring that's already on here. So I got to remove that and put the new wiring that came with the hot end that I just got today. So I got to make sure I get all this removed so I can get to the actual wiring and then start moving everything around and put replacing everything and hopefully putting everything back where it was originally placed. Okay, so that's the fourth bolt. So now I'm going to set that down and then see if this will be able to take it off. Oh, there is a fan over here that is a cooling fan for the motherboard. So I may have to remove that because, oh, and there's one bolt here. So I got to remove that bolt too. So there's actually five that is holding this motherboard cover. So there is more bolts, it seems like. I just didn't see everything yet. Because this is the first time me removing all this off of this motherboard, this 3D printer, because I didn't really have any issues with the printer before. That's why I like the printer, because I never really had to worry too much about it. I mean, the worst thing that I had to do after I got the printer, like after like a month or two, was just replacing the Bolton tube that originally came with the motherboard, or with the 3D printer, because of the fact that it was kind of melting. Because you know, like I use higher temperature than 250 degrees Celsius, so I don't know if the Bolton tube that they give you when you first get the the 3D printer, if it's only rated for 250, but I usually have to replace it. So that's one reason that I do do that. But um, so there is another bolt on the top over here. It's in the back kind of by the cooling fan for the 3D print 3D printer motherboard. But they use these cooling fans to keep the um, <coughs> stepper motor drivers cooler because over time they can get hot and even if there is a heat sink on it, it may still short circuit and fry with all the heat, um, temperature, the higher temperature. So they use fans to kind of keep them cool. See if there's anything else. One right here. It seems like I gotta remove a lot of these bolts. I just removed six, and this is the seventh bolt. So there is plenty of bolts that are holding this motherboard together. I like the cover of it. And I'm not sure if I would have to remove the power supply too, because it looks like it's still kind of like attached to that too. So we will just have to wait and see. So. Stay tuned, I guess, for part three. I mean, I don't know how many people I have ordered the longer LK5 Pro, but 
I figured if you do or if you have or if you have the same the same issue if you're just curious um, check out my videos and I'll be making sure that I email this video to the company so I can let them know that the stuff they gave me I got in and hopefully everything is working when I'm done with all this.